So you play the villain. The villain. I mean, what kind of what kind of things do you have to do to get yourself in the mindset of the villain? Um, forget about everything um, and just kind of get lost in the moment, the moment of the the circumstance, the fight, and being able to work with the heroes. They kind of gave me that freedom to do again what was accurate, what was actually happening on the train that day. And as long as I was doing that, I was happy. And I kind of lost myself from that point. So. Did you read the book? I did. Yeah. And then did you guys, did you talk to the guys to get some more insight into your character or into the, into the guy? I mean, he's a real guy. I shouldn't say character. Yeah. Real guy. Or did like Clint Eastwood help with that? You know, everybody um, involved in the shoot helped me in some way. And I always ask questions to make sure that, again, the story we were telling was accurate. The, I leaned on the guys a lot and made sure that, hey, Am, am I doing what that guy actually did? And they kept reaffirming that. So yeah, I felt like I was in the right place and doing the right thing. Did you have to go through gun training? I have had previous training with guns. So yeah, it was it was easy to do a lot of those scenes. And you know, there was a team of professional props people that made sure I was doing everything right, but I also had experience in the past. All right, so you get the call. And so I was like, wow, I'm going to be in a Clint Eastwood movie, but I'm the bad guy. Like, what, what, was, your, what was your day like? I mean, like when you got that phone call? You know, I was, I was in the middle of uh, looking after one of my buildings uh, where I property manage. And my Smart. agent called me. And we were talking about a different project. And then she called me back and I said, we're done with that. And she's like, no, no, no. Another office called. Uh, Clint, Clint would like you to play Ayub in the movie. And I said, sure. I wasn't quite sure that that's who it was. And, and then... Uh, my agent said You're, they want to fly out to Paris, and I said, um, "Yeah, I can do that for for a Clint movie. Why not?" <laughs> and how how was it working with him? Oh, it was a dream come true. You know, my my parents were fans of him growing up, and I was as well. So to be able to like be on set with him, it was it was surreal, but he and not just surreal is a pleasure because he's he's so nice. He's got a, such such a good heart and made made me feel like I belonged. So. I couldn't have it any other way. No, you know that's what that's what everybody's been telling me tonight. Like I'm just like scared to death. If I have to like talk to him tonight, I'm like, oh my god, like, I don't know what I'm gonna get. But at least that's great to hear. Yeah, no, he's he's very nice, very genuine guy. So, well, congratulations. Have a so fun much. time tonight, thank you so and much. thank you so much for stopping by. No